Rather than tell you about the classic ways to make money, Amazon FBA, dropshipping business print on demand, I want to tell you a few amazing ways that you may never have heard of before. I'll rate them in effort and reward so you can see exactly what could be worth your time. Number one is churro. What is this? Churro is like Airbnb for cars. It connects people who are looking for cars with people who have cars to rent out. Churro get 15 to 40% of the total price of the rental, depending on what plan you set up. It's a great way to earn a little bit of extra money from a car when you're not using it. And if you want to take it to the next level, you could potentially buy a car and use it just for Churro. And eventually, you could have an entire fleet of cars that you are renting out on Churro. When I had my Porsche, I always had the idea at the back of my head to rent it out on an app like Churro. And I did research. I could have got four to six hundred pounds a day, which is crazy when you think about it. How much effort and reward? Meeting the driver for a handover and cleaning the car after each ride are just a few of the things you need to do. It's also certainly easier for drivers, you know, when it comes to actually just renting a car, not that I'm renting this car on Churro or anything, but it leads me to believe that because it's so simple for drivers to actually rent a car, it's gonna become way more popular as time goes on. The reward at first isn't very big. After cleaning the car and giving Churro their cut, there isn't very much money left, especially when you're first starting and if you're trying to be competitive with your price. But as time goes on, you can add more cars. Unique ones could do quite well and who knows, maybe one day you can add an exotic car. That's when the game changes. Remember when I told you about my Porsche earlier? That was costing me £630 a month to own and after doing a lot of research I could have rented it out on churro for around 400 to 600 pounds per day a serious profit could have been made how can you do it this seems quite simple download the app sign up and list your car it doesn't cost and there's no monthly fees after listing your car set your prices and your rules after your first booking welcome your guest and hand over your keys all right, let's get on to number two, buying and selling shoes. What is this? There's a huge market for reselling limited edition shoes. Let's say you were able to cop the latest pair of Air Jordan 3s. You could look up the most valuable sizes and then buy them, then immediately resell them on many apps like StockX. How much effort and reward? There isn't much effort unless you decide to go and queue outside the shops for the latest drops. A lot can be done in various apps and it's not always so much about effort. Sometimes it's just hard to get picked if there is a draw. You could also go to shops like TK Maxx in the UK or TJ Maxx in the US and buy shoes directly from there and resell them or many other types of shops like Nike outlets or Adidas outlets. There are tons of places to find good deals. And whilst you're there, you can constantly check the app on your phone to make sure there is a good profit margin for you to buy the shoe and then sell it. How can you do this? Download a few apps and look at a few different websites such as Sneakers by Nike, Adidas Connect, StockX, Bump, Soul Collector, Goat and Sneakers and Stuff. As well as that, you also have less popular options like Facebook Marketplace and eBay. Sometimes you need to enter a ballot in order to win the chance of being able to buy the shoes and other times it's just first come first serve. If you like shoes, this can be a really, really fun business to be in. If you've liked this video at all so far and maybe you've learned something new, then please smash that subscribe button and help me get to 100,000 subscribers. All right, on to the next one. Number three, vending machines. What is this? We all know what a vending machine is. You see them everywhere, but how cool would it be if you owned 
that vending machine. That's entirely possible. And it's a great way for people to quickly get some food and an even better way for you to make a good profit. How much effort and how much reward? The effort is really high. After scouting various locations and speaking to people who may be in charge of those locations, like schools, hospitals, and parks, you would then have to set up a business and buy your first vending machine. Now, that in itself isn't so hard, but it can be quite expensive. After that, you would have to fill it with something. And now you could go for a somewhat unique approach. Maybe you could fill it with healthy food and approach schools and say, you know, it'd be cool for you to have some healthy vending machines around the school. Ongoing effort includes stuff like having to refill it and also withdraw the money. But eventually, you could have someone doing this for you. And down the line, if you have vending machines all over the country, well, you could be making a huge amount of passive income. So yes, there is a lot of effort, but the potential for a reward is huge. How can you do it? Start by writing out the plan, the type of machine you want, what you want to fill it with, who you want to approach, and then go to locations and see if they'd be willing to let you have a machine there. You would need to give them some sort of cut of the profit, say 15% or something. Then you need to buy the machines, fill it with food, and you're off to the races. Number four, research projects. What is this? Have you ever seen those surveys online that say, we'll give you $100 for an hour of your time, just fill out this survey? Well, a lot of them are probably scams, but there are some legitimate ones out there as well. Usually, you'll have to fit a certain criteria to be able to take part in that survey, but if you do, it's rather straightforward. How much effort and reward? Usually, there's very minimal effort. Sometimes you may need to go to a location to do it. Sometimes they'll come to you. And sometimes it will just be a call over Zoom or something. It's usually paid very well. A lot of companies only let you do one survey every six months or maybe sometimes three months, but you could do surveys for various different companies on various websites and do them more frequently if you wanted to. I actually did one many years ago and I got 100 pounds for about 25 minutes of my time. She came to my flat, interviewed me about the car I happened to have at the time, which was a Porsche, and that was it. It was really, really simple. And like I said, it took 25 minutes. How can you do it? Well, there's a few websites like researchopinions.co.uk and People for Research. These are just two of many. Sign up and apply for studies that you think suit you. There are so many different studies. They'll email you the details, you'll do the work, and then they'll bank transfer you the money. It's all very straightforward. Let me know in the comments down below which of these four businesses interests you the most and maybe I can create a full tutorial video about setting up that business. I know these ideas seem crazy and they're not just simple plug and play ideas that are gonna make you a bajillion dollars, but some will just help you bring in a few hundred extra, maybe a few thousand extra. Nevertheless, they work. However, if by some miraculous chance you didn't like any of these four ideas and you do want to actually create more income for yourself, then you've got to check out this video next where I go over five more ideas that are much, much easier and more normal to actually set up and start making money from.